G'day everyone, this is Green Gully, and this tutorial is how to stream on Twitch TV from a Mac. Now, from a Mac, you need a fairly decent sized processor. I'm running an i7, so it should be able to handle the the uh, the thumping I'm getting about to give it. So you need a few programs first up, ITV, which I've just opened. And then um, once that loads up, I'm running a HD PVR Hopog, 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 whatever, however you pronounce it. Uh, so you can see the Xbox in the screen there. And then uh, we also load up Soundflower and Cam Twist. Now you select in Cam Twist, you select the Desktop Plus, double click on that, and deselect the full screen. And change your option over to ITV. I'm just going to hit refresh just for the hell of it. And then we've got to select an area that we want to capture because we don't want to capture the full desktop screen. So we're just going to capture this ITV area. So we just adjust this um, marquee or this box just to make sure everything fits in. We don't want any um, window edges or anything like that going on. Okay, so once we've got um, what we've got, what we want, we hit the done selecting, and then we'll just minimise that because we we won't need that program anymore. It'll just sit there and run in the background. Next, we open the Flash Media Encoder. You can download that free from the Adobe website. Uh, yeah, as you can see in this preview box, it's it's sort of streaming through this at the moment, and you got uh, the cam twist as selected. And there, we've got a uh, frame rate. I'm going with 25, and sort of um, maintain aspect ratio and the bit rate at whatever that's set to but you can change that depending on on the connection to the internet that you have if you've got a pretty poor one like me you probably want a lower connection uh, make sure Soundflower is checked as your source for audio the rest of it can stay the same that's what I've got here now next the most important part is to add in the URL for Justin TV which is that line there the FMS URL and you can find that over on the Justin TV website which is there and I'll just zoom in so you can see the address justin.tv slash broadcast slash ADV underscore and that's zoomed out and I can't see it anymore so yeah yeah hit the show button and then you just copy that stream key you can download that XML file, but I think this just copying and pasting this seems to work the best. So I'll just minimize that. And you paste it into this stream thing here. So you just paste that in. I've already got mine in, of course. And then you hit connect. And then you're almost ready to go. So you just move the Flash Media Encoder window out of the way because you don't want it to appear in your stream. And then um, you've got Soundflower open, and then you open up Audio Hijack Pro. I've actually had to pay for this uh, this program, but it, it's okay. So whatever you're using to communicate with, I'm using a blue snowball, but you can be using a headset or whatever. It should just pop up into that list. And then you make sure everything's like uh, ITV, and then you've got um, your output as Snowflower, the two channel, and the input as blue snowball mic. So you hit the hijack button and that'll hijack the sound. I'm still undecided whether you actually need hijack pro, but um, it seems to work for me, but we'll go with that. And then we're ready to hit the start button. Once you hit the start button, that's when you start streaming. So we'll call up the Twitch TV website and that's my channel there. All nice and pretty and green like my name and then we'll hit the start button now it says I'm connected 
and here we go we'll flick back to the website and any second now it should just pop up and there we go that's it that's the stream and you just um, it'll display whatever you've got there's a lag time of about 10 seconds so don't be put off by that also while I'm here plug your headphones um, into your headphone jack so you don't get an echo sound I just use um, iPod headphones I just plug it into that um, and there we go oh, this this one seems to be lagging a little bit so I might actually just stop this stream and adjust a couple of settings just to see how well it goes so we'll stop that And we'll just adjust this bit right down a bit, a little bit. It's sort of hit and miss on, on what's the best connection for you at the time. I'm running a 0.8 um, upload speed, so it's pretty ordinary. But it seems to work okay at certain times of the day. I mean, without the heavy usage of everyone else. Right, there we go. So, um... We've adjusted that, so we'll hit the start button. Start streaming here. There we go. We'll go back to Twitch. And there we are. And yep, everything's moving. Moving a bit slower. But you get the drift gist of it I mean that's that's all you have to do um, I'll probably adjust that bit right down a little bit more just to get it a fluid motion but anyway guys that's how you stream to twitch TV on a Mac computer um, it's a bit to do it's a whole lot harder than it is to stream from a PC but it can be done and that's how you do it so take care I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you later